Hi, I'm Eric Salomon. I'm speaking to you today from my workbench at Guitar Repair Long Island in Ronkonkoma, New York. Today we're going to be going through how to install a set of shallow strap locks on an electric guitar. Strap locks are available in a variety of styles from a few different manufacturers and it's a, a great way to protect your instrument and save you from a potentially costly repair. And install simply in minutes, just like this. To do this job, you will need a set of strap locks, a Phillips head screwdriver, a wrench, guitar strap, and possibly a chisel. More on that in a minute. Okay, so the first step is to remove the factory strap button. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver and let's get in there and unscrew it. We'll remove the one on the bottom too. Now once we open the package, With the hardware provided, you'll see that Schaller includes two different lengths of screw. So you've got the longer one and the short one. So what you'll want to do is take the screw that came with the guitar and choose the one that most closely matches. If you've got a bad fit, it may require doweling the hole and re-drilling a new pilot in order to get a snug fit on the new screw. So with the old strap button removed, we're going to slide the screw through the strap button included with the strap locks. We'll make sure we get our piece of felt on as well. This piece of felt will serve to protect the finish of your guitar uh, from the metal rubbing against it. And we should be able to just put that in and get it started with your hand. And then, using your screwdriver, drive it home. On a guitar like a Stratocaster, you may have an issue getting the screwdriver correctly placed because it can get in the way. In this case, a, a stubby screwdriver like this can really, really help you out. You want to make sure you're not stripping the screw in the process because it can be difficult to remove. Once that's snug, you're going to do the same thing on the bottom. With the button secure, we're ready to move to the strap portion. To install the lock portion, we're going to remove the nut and washer from the top of the strap lock and feed this in through the bottom of the strap. Now you've got to be sure that there is enough thread showing to be able to get the nut and washer over and screw down securely. With some types of straps, particularly thick leather straps such as this one, it may require removing a little bit of material from the inside of the strap here in order to get it to secure properly. And I'll show you how to do that. Using a sharp chisel, you can look to remove some material right in here, these pieces that are going to get in the way. I would suggest small amounts because you can always remove more.
with that extra piece out of the way, you should be able to slide the washer and the nut on for a snug, secure fit. Once it's started, you'll use your wrench to tighten the nut home. I like to position the locks so that the bottom portion will be holding the weight of the instrument when it's in the playing position. One side down, one to go. Once again, it looks like there's going to be a little bit of material in our way, so I may just remove a little bit with the chisel. Once again, I'm going to try and orient the strap lock, taking into account that when in the playing position with a strap like this, I want the weight to be on the, the metal side, not the open side of the lock. Once we have our buttons installed and our strap locks on, we're ready to attach it to the guitar. You're going to pull up on the button on the top until you feel it click into place. And do the same on the bottom. With your strap locks installed, they should give you years of worry-free, reliable service. Thank you.